ran away because fire fell from the sky and she was hungry. And no one cared about a child who was alone and terrified. Carly ran and ran and didn't stop until she came to a quiet, peaceful village. Two people sat on a bench in warm sunlight before a house and talked a little and seemed contented. Carly was alone and hungry. She asked if she might live there in the village. And perhaps they also had a little piece of bread or something else she could eat. Well, this is not right, said one of the villagers. A child who wanders about and begs for food. Oh, someone must do something about this. She belongs in an orphanage. They called the police so that they might catch Carly. But Carly ran away. Carly came to a forest where she found a few little berries that made her feel a little less hungry. And on some moss, she made a soft, warm bed. But she still needed more to eat, and the night noises in the forest frightened her. No, she couldn't live there forever, all alone. So Carly wandered again through the woods, following her nose until she reached the other side. There, she entered the land of the stone eaters. They were very friendly and gave Carly a handful of stones to eat. But she couldn't eat stones. So the stone eaters grew very angry. Isn't this place good enough for you? If you won't eat what we have to give you, <laughs> you may as well leave. Then Carly thought sadly, oh, they don't like me because I'm strange and different from them. And that was true. The stone eaters left her standing there. So Carly walked away. Again, she walked through a huge dark forest. Ahead lay the land of the silk tails. Welcome, welcome, they called and asked what she would like. Oh, just a small piece of bread uh, and, um, and somewhere to sleep, said Carly. That you can have, twittered the silk tails. But then one of them, standing behind Carly, said in a frightened voice, It doesn't have a tail. Now they all wanted to see Carly from behind, and when they saw that she really had no tail, they said, worried, No, no, you can't stay with us. After all, you don't have a silk tail. But that doesn't matter, Carly tried to comfort them. I, I can hang one around me or, or attach one to me with a safety pin. No, 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 that won't do, cried the silk tails, horrified. Only silk tails are allowed to live in our country, Carly pleaded and begged. But she had to leave again, even though it was night time, dark and cold. Carly thought sadly, they won't help me because I'm strange and different from them. And once again she started out, and at the edge of the forest she came into the land of the smoky crows. Here Carly was greeted warmly. One smoky crow offered her a soft nest high up in a bare tree, and a dead mouse to eat. It already smelt a bit, which made it especially delicious for the smoky crows. But Carly didn't want to eat the mouse. It made her feel sick to her stomach. And she couldn't climb the tree, for it was very tall. You must fly up, advised the smoky crows. But Carly couldn't fly. Oh, there's nothing else here, the smoky crows said sadly. So Carly thought, they don't understand me because I'm strange and different from them. There was nothing else to do but move on again. Where the forest ended, she entered the land of the greedy managers. They were rich and lived in large houses and always had enough to eat. Whatever food was left, they threw away. Even their pets enjoyed nothing but the best. When people met in the street, they hugged and gave each other two kisses, one on each cheek. But no one hugged Carly, though her hunger and loneliness were as clear as the nose on her face. Shyly, she greeted two people and asked for something to eat and a warm place to sleep. But her request angered them. Beat it! We have nothing to spare! Oh, rich people don't know how much hunger hurts, Carly thought. I must look for poor people. They know how painful it is when no one will help you. She walked to the edge of the city, behind the big factories and the garbage dump. There, poor people lived in small shacks. 
Go away! They shouted when they saw the strange child. We've no use for you here. When too many poor people live here, oh, there isn't enough food or space to go around. You have to understand. So Carly understood that she could not stay there. But she didn't know where else to go. And to add to her troubles, it began to rain. Carly walked out of the city and across the fields. Suddenly, she saw a huge tree. In its branches, someone had built a house out of junk. A man sat at the window, looking out and eating a big cheese sandwich. Hello! Come over here and take a bite of the cheese sandwich, he called. Oh, you look hungry and tired. Oh, rest here, where it's dry and warm. Who are you? asked Carly. Mr. Friendly, he said. Oh, said Carly. She'd never heard such a name. Is that what people are called who are kind to others? I've been looking for you for a very long time. If you'd let me, I'd love to come and live here with you and your family. So Carly was invited to stay in their house as long as she wanted. <laughs> 